Good evening, everyone. I'm Keishla Adderley, and welcome to The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report. Topping the news tonight, the final sitting of the House of Assembly took place today before the Christmas break. During the proceedings, parliamentarians debated new amendments to the Business License Act. The legislation is expected to have a significant impact on the ease of doing business in the country, as Fern Carey tells us. During House of Assembly proceedings, Prime Minister Dr. the Most Honorable Hubert Minnis opened debate on the business license amendments. He said the legislation will assist in the ease of doing business in the country while ensuring that businesses with revenue streams of $100,000 or less will not have to pay any business license fees beginning in January of next year. The Prime Minister also noted that 80% of businesses in the country make $100,000 or less. The speaker, this is important because in the past, those individuals were charged $100 and it was very difficult for many of them. They would have paid $100 for business license, would not have gotten their business established in terms of generating any funds, and two, three years later, they want to restart and they're required now to pay all back fee. And if they had problems needing $100, imagine the difficulty they have needing three, dollars $400 because their business is closed. The Prime Minister specified who will be impacted by the exemptions. Those individuals within the inner city, the Bain and Grandstown and Portion of Centerville, that is those whose southern boundaries are uh, Wolf Road, whose northern boundaries, Lancy Street, whose western boundaries, Nassau Street, the eastern boundaries, um, Collins Wall, those individuals are exempted. The Prime Minister also indicated that the exemptions will also be extended to businesses located in St. Barnabas, Angliston and Kemp Road, parts of Fox Hill, Rock Crusher Road and Gambier. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, said that the legislation will assist in making the business license renewal process easier. It is not our intention to make business difficult or costly. It is our intention to simplify and to make uh, the whole uh, process of administering the business license process efficient. The, we raised roughly $150 million from the business license process. Following the debate, the bill was read a third time and passed. Fern Carey, CNS Network News. There was bipartisan support for the Business License Amendment Act, but Deputy Leader of the Progressive Liberal Party, Chester Cooper, accused the government of backtracking and failing to consult. I wonder why we let businesses sweat since June, only to repeal this week before the information would have been due. Tell me, where was the green paper on this? Where was the consultation? I'm a businessman and I didn't see it. Are businesses just a plaything to poke at and test theories on without consulting those who built them with their own blood, sweat and tears? Certainly we think not. 